We have been studying the anatomy of our own bodies for thousands of years. After all this time, it wouldn't be unreasonable to expect that we should already have identified all the structures in our bodies. Still, we see headlines in the news talking about newly discovered organs in the human body. So what's the deal here? First things first, a previously unknown organ was recently identified by scientists, and it might be the biggest organ in the human body discovered so far. Scientists are calling this new organ the interstitium. This structure is a network of fluid-filled compartments which is found just below the skin. Previously, researchers thought the interstitium was simply a layer of dense connective tissue. But, a new study shows that the interstitium is actually a network of interconnected spaces filled with fluid and a tight network of collagen bundles. According to experts, these interstitial spaces that contain a meshwork of collagen proteins can shrink and expand, and may serve as shock absorbers protecting the tissue. The new organ was spotted when researchers looked at live human tissue with a new imaging technique known as the probe-based confocal laser endomicroscopy. I know, that's a mouthful. Previous imaging methods have mostly looked at tissue that is already dead and therefore drained of fluid, so the fluid-filled cavities weren't visible. Researchers also believe that the interstitium drains into the lymphatic system and acts as a source of lymph, which is a fluid that moves through the lymphatic system and removes bacteria from tissues. This might help to explain why some cancers that invade the tissue spread into the lymph nodes. So, learning more about the interstitium could allow scientists to develop new tests for cancer. Another newly discovered human organ is known as the mesentery. Tucked behind your abdominal muscles, the mesentery is a structure made of fatty membranes that carries out a vital role in your digestive process. This newly classified organ attaches the intestines to the wall of your abdomen. Up until now, the mesentery was considered to be made up of multiple separate parts. Now, after extensive microscopic examination, researchers have reclassified the mesentery as a single structure wrapping and folding around in one long continuous piece of tissue. And that word, reclassified, is really what a lot of these news headlines come down to. The human body hasn't suddenly started growing new parts. Instead, scientists are refining the language used to describe the parts of the body and the way those body parts function. Much in the same way that Pluto's planetary identity crisis stirred up headlines, these reclassifications tend to do the same. Now, that's not to say these reclassifications don't come from new discoveries. In many cases, new functions of known body parts are found, and those findings cause scientists to adopt new terminologies or restructure our anatomical vocabularies. And doing so can lead to more discoveries in the future. For example, following its reclassification, medical students are now being taught that the mesentery is a distinct organ. While specific functions of the mesentery are still unknown, studying it as an organ could open up new approaches to diagnosing and treating a range of intestinal diseases, including Crohn's disease, inflammatory bowel disease, and colorectal cancer. All these new discoveries show that the human body is full of surprises, and we are far from understanding the full anatomy of our own bodies. Maybe we will discover other organs in the future that are hiding in plain sight. Only time will tell. Or perhaps we found all there is to find in our bodies, and now all that's left is to improve our understanding through the creation of new classifications and better organization. In either case, we've got some progress to make, and we will keep going until a full understanding is achieved.